Hello friends, this is Neha Tulshan from Crescent Creation. Welcome to another polymer clay video at the craft shop blog. Today I'm going to share a technique that gives a very beautiful and intricate results. It's called the polymer clay embroidery. This technique has been around for quite some time and I have seen many gorgeous examples of it. And it's actually a lot easier than it seems. You can make it on beads or just on clay. But today I'm going to show you both the, both the ways. Uh, one is to uh, do it on the purchased metal bezel and the other one is directly on clay. So here I have this antique bronze bezel in heart shape and I'm using red pardo clay. I have conditioned the clay and now filling the bezel to make a dome shape. You need to cover the bezel in evenly with the clay creating a dome shape. Here with the help of my fingers I am pushing the clay into the bezel and trying to even it out to get the desired shape. You need to work more on the corners to make it neat. And don't forget to clean off the excess clay hanging off the edges of the bezel. And once you are happy with the shape, rub your palm on the clay surface to remove all the fingerprints. Now let's make few roses for the pendant. You can sculpt many uh, sculpt roses in many different ways but this is the easiest way to um, quickly create some handful of roses. Rose is a kind of flower which can be very complex or can be very easy. It's up to you what look you're going for. So here I started with a sheet of red clay rolled at the thickest setting of my pasta machine and with the help of my needle tool I'm creating rose shape onto the clay sheet. Then carefully I am cutting out the shape using my exacto knife. You can manipulate the size of the roses you need and create big or small roses. And after cutting you can add more details to the flower using the needle tool. Once happy with the look go ahead and place the flower on the pendant using the needle tool. As the clay on the bezel is raw the flower will stick to it very easily. Raw clay are supposed to stick to each other with ease. Go ahead and add few more detail, details using your needle tool that are lost while placing the flower on the bezel. Now create a bunch of such flowers and keep filling the bezel. I'm gonna put some music for you to enjoy the process. You can see how beautiful it looks. Uh, I'm in love with this pendant. Well, I chose not to fill the pendant all the way with the roses. Instead, I added um, the dot details on the leftover area using the needle tool to make it look more in interesting. Now, let's move on to the other pendant. Here, I'm using the owl-shaped antique bezel. To create the dome shape, I'm using an orange color Primo clay. It's easy to fill simple shapes bezel like this one. Now to create my design, I have rolled out snakes of clay in different colors. I'm using dark blue, black, green and light orange that uh, I have created mixing orange and white clay. From the snakes created, I have cut uh, small pieces of clay using the blade. Uh, try to cut out equal sizes to get even looking flower. Lay out each piece of clay with a center piece to create the flower. Add detail to each piece of clay uh, using needle tool to make it look more like petals. Enjoy the process with the music.
सो दिस इज़ द ब्यूटिफुल आउल पेंडेंट क्रिएटेड यूजिंग द पॉलीमर क्ले एम्ब्रॉयडरी टेक्निक एंड आई फिनिश इट ऑफ बाई एडिंग फ्यू डॉट डिटेल्स Next let me show you one way how to create your own paint and base if you do not want to use antique bezels. So here I am making a dome shape using a teal color clay in pearl finish. Once happy with this shape I will cut out a circle shape out of a dark color um uh, dark blue color sheet of clay rolled uh, on the thickest setting of my pasta machine. The circle should be slightly bigger than the center piece dome. To make it into a paint and you have to add an eye pin to the piece so uh, you can create a hook later now work on the piece and try to remove the uneven unevenness as much as possible if you work on the piece now you don't have to buff it later after baking next roll out thick snakes out of dark blue clay and cut almost 6 mm thick pieces roll these pieces into circle and stick it all around the dome shape to create a beautiful border Once done you can stop here this looks beautiful on its own but i wanted to add sparkle to this so i added swarovski crystal beads all around on this circle just remember after baking you need to stick the swarovski with some glue as they tend to come out after baking once done with this i create the design on the center of the painted using the embroidery technique i use mix of uh, uh, white and silver clay for this My designs are all ready. Bake them as per instructions on the clay package and you will be all done. Isn't it a fun technique? You can create a lot of different looks by this technique. Just be creative. So, this was my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, you will give this technique a try. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to the Craft Shop channel for polymer clay videos twice a month. You can also visit my channel with the link in the description box below. Thank you for visiting. Have a nice day.